prodigies at the mix. What's going on everybody, Deutsch Bag here, and today we're gonna to be doing something that I have wanted to do for probably five or six years now. Um, we're gonna be building a sim rig, and over the last six months to a year maybe, I've been uh, piecing everything together, doing my research, trying to figure out what I need to buy, and uh, we're gonna start off with the actual rig itself, and for that I bought the uh, RS500 DIY sim rig from Rigmotech. So, what I'll do is um, I'll switch to the camera over there and we're gonna pull it out of the package and kind of show you what was all sent with it and then we'll go from there. All right, so the fine folks over at uh, Rickmotech sent us this uh, big envelope and uh, inside of it is a bunch of goodies. So we'll just uh, take a quick look and see what, uh, what we all got. Uh, first thing that we have here is the RS500 uh, DIY assembly instructions. And uh, inside there are like tons and tons of pictures and um, just everything that you need to, uh, to essentially put this rig together. So um, I already read this over a couple of times just to make sure that I've got everything I need and uh, um, that I'm all set for tomorrow. So this is a big help. Um, these are well, one of these, this is one of them. Let me get the other one out of the way too. These are the uh, template um, pieces of paper, I guess. <laughs> and uh, these are gigantic, so I'm not gonna unfold them now, but um, you'll see it as I'm cutting out the templates. Um, these things are huge and they, they basically take up my uh, entire kitchen table. Um, there are two of these, um, I would say without with just guessing they're probably five by four feet or something like that. So, um, yeah, you'll see this um, as soon as I start cutting those templates. Uh, we got a nice little uh, uh, thank you card from, uh, from Rick Motek. Just thanking us for the order. That is my receipt, which I'm not going to show because it has my address on there. And then uh, they also gave us uh, two of these stickers that we can uh, sl slap on the sim rig if we decide to, or somewhere else on the car, my wife's car, you know, something like that. Uh, but that's it. That's uh, everything that they sent us. And so now what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna spread out these templates and uh, get everything cut up. So uh, tomorrow we're just uh, you know ready to get started with uh, building the rig. <laughs> So it is the next day and I got all of my uh, templates and everything cut out last night. And if you saw on the second set of templates that I did, you might've seen it, but I kind of went, uh, I didn't cut like right on the lines. I cut um, around them only because I want to be able to cut on them when, once I actually get it onto the wood. And we'll see how that works and maybe it'll work good, maybe it won't. Um, right now, all I'm doing is grabbing the rest of the uh, tools that I'm going to need. And then I have to get everything outside. Uh, and then we can start cutting. My only real goal for today is to, to get everything cut, get all of the pieces uh, trimmed up, all the edges, like get them all, get them all pretty looking. And then once that's done, um, I'm going to bring everything inside and kind of like put it, put it all together and stuff like that. Um, cause it is, it's hot outside today. It is 112 degrees right now. So, um, I got my suit on. I'm going to be jumping in the pool probably in between cutting boards because it is, it's hot. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get all my tools together, get everything outside and then we'll get started. Thank <laughs> you. 
As you can tell from uh, yesterday's footage, I didn't really get as far as I wanted to before it got dark outside. Um, but it turns out I also needed a uh, caulking gun, so I had to go and, uh, and get one of those. So I went and got it, got some additional bolts and stuff that I needed to, and I'm gonna get everything back outside and start doing more, uh, more work on this thing. Uh, the one thing I did wanna say though is when I was working on the, the platform piece, the template was kind of getting like hung up on the, the jigsaw blade and it kept like pulling it up and everything. So I actually went back and uh, cut all of the other templates. I'm not gonna try and like cut on the lines or anything like that anymore. So I'm just gonna follow the templates and hopefully they, uh, they don't get in the way. Thank you. 
Just for the amount of wind out here, but uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, I've finally got all of the pieces cut. Um, we've got the, the pedal bridge done, uh, steering wheel deck, monitor keyboard platform, monitor front platform. Uh, we've got the two sides sitting up over there. The um, platform is inside and I saved you all the, the trouble of watching me use the jigsaw and sanding everything down. So I did that off camera just because it would have been really boring to watch. So uh, the next thing that I need to do is um, I have a uh, countersink bit that I'm gonna use um, on the, uh, all the pre-drilled holes, uh, both on um, that piece there, and then I think just on the, the sides or the uprights. And that's just so the, um, the, when the screw goes in, it is uh, flush with the sides because um, I'm probably gonna do some sort of um, laminate on the sides. So, um, you know, we definitely don't want anything poking out. So I'm going to get started on that. And then as soon as we're done with the uh, countersink bit on all of these pieces, we should be ready to, uh, to assemble everything. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I've been trying to figure out ways to uh, mount the seat and I think I finally uh, came up with a solution. So we're gonna, I already took the other bracket off of my chair. This is the bottom of my chair here. So we'll take this bracket off and then we'll attach it to the seat slider. And then we should be able to attach the seat slider to the rig and test it out and just make sure that, uh, that it's actually gonna work the way that we expect it to. So um, yeah, let's start taking this thing apart. The seat slider kit came with uh, a handful of screws, came with some washers, and it also came with a, a nut for the other end of the screw. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two washers and put it onto the screw, and then uh, we're going to uh, bolt the, um, the bracket here for the seat to the uh, seat slider. The reason I'm using two washers is because um, this uh, bolt will go into the top part here. And then um, as you can see, this little extended piece right here, uh, we have a screw that's gonna go from there um, through there into the actual uh, wooden rig itself. Um, that extra washer makes it so that it can easily uh, pass over the top of there because otherwise it won't. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing bolted together. We're going to put this bracket back on uh, the side over here and make sure that the, um, the seat slider uh, prongs, I guess, are facing inward so that we can actually attach the uh, rail. So, got to get this back to where I had it before. Kind of want the, the lowest possible option because the seat slider is going to give me some uh, some height so Good. Let's swing the 
this around to the other side here. Then we'll do the same thing. Start with the back one this time because there's no flexibility with that one. And then we'll get this one up here started. I gotta put the this rail in here, and this really just clips into place. Sort of. There you go. It seems like it might be a little bit bent outward, so I'm gonna see if I can get like maybe a vice grips on there or something, and um, and snug it back up. But I guess we'll see how it is after this side gets tightened. It's pretty solid, but probably going to see if I can do a little bit better than that. Um, but for the most part, it's all mounted. So uh, we should be able to go uh, take this over to the rig and see if we can get it fitted. If you remember uh, during the part where I was cutting the uh, cross members down here, uh, what I did is uh, I took a measurement on the back two because um, what I did is I actually measured the uh, holes in the slider here so that I could um, uh, put a screw directly into the um, that cross member in the back and the one that's in front of that. Um, so I measured that out and now I'm going to uh, get the, the chair all squared and, uh, and bolt the or screw the chair down to the rig. One of the problems I've been having though is for some reason, like everything is measuring correctly, but something is off. I can't seem to get it perfectly square on the rig. So what I'm doing, and this probably isn't the best way to do it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, I've already squared up the back so that um, there's about three and a quarter on each side, uh, three and a quarter inches. And um, I've already marked where I need to put the screw in. We're gonna put it in that uh, the back hole there. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the screws in, uh, and then not all the way though, I'm gonna leave them just a tiny bit loose um, so that I can use that as kind of a guide to try and square up the front. Um, you know, because this isn't going into a car where you'd normally have like a bracket that you're attaching to, um, it's a little bit harder to, uh, to get the seat on here. So I'm gonna give that a shot and hopefully that works uh, because I've been struggling trying to get the front of this uh, squared up and I'm not sure if it's because the chair has like a funky curve to it or something like that or what's going on but um, like I said I got the back lined up correctly so we'll put the screws in and then see if we can get the uh, front done. All right so we got the back um, in. I'm gonna try and do the uh, front up here. Um, I've got them marked out so Gonna drill some pilot holes, put the screws in, and then we'll tighten it up. Um, I had to take the chair off because uh, I couldn't get to the the bolts with the chair on. So this is the way it has to be. That seemed to do the trick. Um, I've got the uh, screws in uh, the back tightened down now. Um, and you can't see them up front because the chair is slid forward, but it is, uh, they're also screwed in nice and tight up front. Um, it slides back and forth without issue. And it's, um, even though the back and the front measurements are different, um, it is even on both sides, so that's good. Um, it doesn't get squirrely or anything when we try to lock it in place. So that's done, which is nice because that was a pain in the butt. Um, so now all I really have to do is finish, uh, finish putting the front on. Um, we have to put the monitor mount, the, the wheel mount, and then, um, I just kind of put the, I forget what they call it, but the, the back piece there for the, uh, pedals, this right here, yeah. um, that's just kind of being held in place by the two uprights right now. It's not actually screwed in. 
So um, I need to line all that up and get those done. And then that's it. I'm pretty much done with the rig other than the console, but I needed to uh, get this in here, um, figure out what size it is, how much room I have left to play with. And then um, based on those measurements, we're gonna figure out the size of our console because I wanna make it a little bit bigger if I can to do kind of like a built-in uh, button box. So uh, yeah, let's get started on putting the rest of this together. Well, there it is, everybody. Uh, it is completely finished. Well, not completely finished. Finished with the exception of uh, the console that's supposed to go on the side over here. Uh, like I said, we're gonna get some measurements and do that in another video. Um, but this is our, our main platform. Um, you know, we can hook up a wheel, put a monitor up and put our pedals on there and start using it. So the main piece is done. Um, next steps for this are, um, I'm gonna get some laminate for all the like top pieces and then like the side pieces. And we'll get some carpet. Um, for the, the platform, I've actually been thinking about getting some, uh, what do you call it, some diamond plate as well. Uh, I guess it kind of depends on how the equipment fits on there, stuff like that. That's another thing is fitting the equipment to make sure everything uh, fits the way it's supposed to. Um, and we'll get all that done in another video. Um, if the console thing works out, we're gonna build a button box on that for another video. So there's a lot, gonna be a lot of good content coming up. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure, make sure you do so. Uh, hit the little bell if you want to get those uh, notifications. Um, I guess that's it for now. And uh, just keep an eye out for the, uh, the next set of videos. Thanks for watching.